moment for me. We're almost at Hogwarts soon. Yeah, and then say, maybe they have a chocolate frog. Maybe they have a chocolate frog. Maybe they do! So many chocolate frogs! I am super thrilled about this right here. We got a really tiny table and we got a big bowl of katsudon. I can't even fit this bowl on the table. That is a really thick, thick katsudon. Bro. I like this train ride. Look at this. Gorgeousness. That's a natural hot spring that you can stop at. Here's the Spirited Away stop with the single train. What? So we just traveled five hours from Tokyo. We are in Ojijuku. We're here for really, really special soba. I don't want to tell you how it's special. You're going to see how it's special when we get there. But what's even more special is this town that we're in right now. I feel like I'm in a movie, but this is real life. People live here. Yep. They have buildings here that are from the original like Edo period. It's like 30 oh of them have the same, the thatched roof. Cottages! <gasps> this is like Samurai Champloon. Oh my God, in Samurai Champloon, they would stop at like post stations along the way and they would work and try to do things for food and she'd be like, I'm looking for the samurai that smells like sunflower. Oh, bugger off. Bugger off? What bugger, you... bugger, I used the British version of Spike. Let's just go get some soba. This is gonna be amazing. To the soba mobile. Let's go. Are you ready for this? This here is soba with a giant leek. You'll notice that there's no chopsticks or right. spoons or utensils because you're supposed to eat it with the gigantic green onion. I mean, did you ever go to a restaurant and after you were done eating, did you ever think to yourself, I'm hungry and I want to keep on eating. Mm. Can I eat my chopsticks? Well, now you can. Now you can. You can only do this here. So this is super special. I'm really excited <laughs> to try this. I didn't wash my hands and then I'm going to eat the green onions. I know. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. How do you scoop this though? You just gotta shovel it on. Like I'm trying. Okay, you mix it all up. Everyone's green onion is different. Okay. Mine's quite thick. Mine curves a bit at the base, but the whole point that you need to know is that so long as you could keep your thing firm when you wet your noodle, then you mm -hmm. should be all right. You don't want the noodles like flopping around everywhere, no, no, no. you know. I'm gonna scoop. See, I'm gonna do like a I don't twist. wanna bite mine yet because this do is a perfect. I'm doing like a- We do Korean style where they- No, it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. No. Okay, just okay. scoop it. Let's we'll scoop it okay. and do we bite it right away? No, no. Then we can't you finish our. It, girl. Okay. Here we go. Okay, ready? That is great, great, cold, refreshing soba. A good soba. The noodle is bouncy. Oh, yeah. But it's still a little bit firm. It's not uh, like an overcooked mush no, in your mouth. No. That's what you get when you have like Because Martina soup. always likes her noodles overcooked, but this right here. We've been through this. I like the noodles just cooked. No. This, this is normal. This is legit. Okay, I'm doing the next bite with okay. actual. You're going to bite into your green I'm doing sometime? it. Okay, here we I'm go. Doing it. Ready? Okay, you bite? Okay. <laughs> This is so sweet. This is so del- I don't even want the noodle. <laughs> don't eat your chopsticks. Hey, These are you really need that. good. This, I just thought was like a gimmick, but it actually really makes the dish that much better. This is one of those things where it's difficult to explain because mm -hmm. people will be like, oh, green onion tastes like a green onion. No. This tastes different than other green onions I've even had in Tokyo. Okay, I'm gonna try like a really big. It's delicious, but it's not graceful. I think we can drink the broth through the holes. Oh my gosh, let's try. No. Wait. <coughs> Don't try that. Don't try that. Wait, maybe this way. Is it actually working? And that's how we learned that onion fumes were dangerous. The answer is no. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little lightheaded now. <laughs> This broth is also mm -hmm. magnificent. It's got the sweetness in there, it's got bonito flakes. I definitely taste some daikon. Oh yeah. And there's like a peppery flavor that almost tastes like the onion itself. I just feel like revitalized after eating this. It's, it's you sound amazing. Like a, you sound like an Asian commercial. <laughs> Do you want to feel revitalized? That is great. And have some green onion soba. 
Now, when we first got these, we actually didn't have any utensils, and I thought it's like an ancient tradition yes. that you eat mochi using your face. You tie your, your hands face. behind your back and you mush your face into it, but that's not the case. We got actual chopsticks. Actual this chopsticks time, here. Not green onions. What a shame! This place could have gone its entire life without any utensils. So here we have mochi for dessert. It feels really warm, and yeah. this is going to be like soul-movingly like okay. grandma's food. Let me just say, chopsticks are not the ideal cutting utensil. Why not? You just—I think you just got to pick it up and bite a girl. No, no, no. You push down, and then you spread the chopsticks out as you go. It'll is take that about how you do 25 it? minutes. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. That's a warm mochi. Why does this taste like it's grandmother's got... love? I don't know. It's what this I'm saying. This tastes like a holiday. I really think mochi is one of those things that you just have to have fresh. It's not really photogenic. It looks really ugly, but it tastes yeah. so great. It's almost like having a fresh mozzarella cheese, right? Mm. Whoa. 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 I'm having this last piece right yeah. here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Mm hmm. I love you so much. You're my favorite girl. <laughs> Simon's drunk on food now. This is the part of the show when Simon gets food drunk. Mm. Mm. So happy now and warm. <laughs> so bad that the mochi. Well, that was just amazing. I definitely need to do more small town food exploring. I want to go to all the places that have like that one dish because oh. if this is an example of how good it is, then oh. we need to hit every small rural town. And there's so much more here in this area to explore. Mm -hmm. And we just came here for the noodles. And but there's a lot more to see. Like the sake. Like Apparently the sake. the sake here is like the best sake. in Japan. If you guys are curious about how we actually got up here, Charlotte in Japan actually recorded that whole trip. So yep. make sure you check out her channel and her video and you can see the entire ride we took us to get here because yeah. guys it was gorgeous oh my God. you already saw like a sample of us there's like, wow. a rolling kitty in the background this is my life this is some BS. this is what i want there's a, a river that's cooling people's beer river what am beer. i doing in tokyo this is where i need to be what even though heck? like everybody here is minimum 80 years old it's like being in our neighborhood again <laughs> what's the difference Simon? 80 years old let's do a little bit more exploring let's do this but let's go get our shoes okay okay we don't have our <laughs> shoes out right here <laughs> <laughs>